In this video, we'll be talking about algebraic models and what we can do with them. To get started, we need to define two things. The first thing is a variable. A variable is a quantity. whose value can change. Usually, when we're talking about variables, we represent them with a letter. So x is what people usually think of when they think of variables. Could be the letter y, could be the letter a. Those are all examples of variables. And we can use variables to create algebraic expressions. Algebraic expressions is a phrase made up of numbers and variables or letters. For example, x plus 5 would be an algebraic expression. We can visually represent different algebraic expressions. And in the past, you're probably used to working with algebra tiles. So a single red tile would be one unit. A long rectangular tile represents the variable x. And then a large square tile represents x squared. So we have our unit, which is a tile that is one unit by one unit. We have a variable that is one unit by x units. And we have a square that is a length of x by x. So we can use algebra tiles to represent different algebraic expressions. For example, the expression x squared plus 3x plus 4. I could represent it with one x squared tile, three x tiles, and four individual units. And you could represent that in your notes by drawing one x squared tile and shading it inappropriately. Three x tiles, again, shading it inappropriately, and then four individual x tiles. So we've represented the algebraic expression x squared plus 3x plus 4 using algebra tiles. Let's try another one. 2x squared plus 6. I could use 2x squared tiles and 6 individual x tiles to represent 2x squared plus 6. So again, in your notes, you could draw 
two x squared tiles and six x tiles to represent this expression. There we have the expression 2x squared plus 6. We can use a different color tile to represent negative values. We use traditionally red for positive tiles. We can use blue Or negative. Easy way to remember this is red is hot, blue is cold. On a thermometer, hot usually is in the positive end of the thermometer and cold is in the negative end of the thermometer. So we'll use red tiles to represent positives and blue tiles to represent negatives. So going back to another example, 3x squared minus x plus 1. I could show that by using three x squared tiles, a negative x tile, or blue tile, and then one positive unit. In your notes, you can draw three big red tiles, a negative x tile. Make sure you color it blue or at least a different color than your positive tiles. And then one single unit. 3x squared minus x plus 1. Here's a challenge for you. If I lay out some tiles, can you tell me what that situation would represent as an algebraic expression? Take a second to do that. So I laid out two x squared tiles and one x tile and five blue units, negative five. Did you get the expression 2x squared plus x minus five? If I lay out some more tiles, can you create an algebraic expression for this situation? Try it now. Do you see how I've laid out three negative x squared tiles, four negative x tiles, and three positive units? Did you get negative 3x squared minus 4x plus 3? In summary, in this video we talked about variables and algebraic expressions. Variables are a quantity whose value can change, usually it's a letter. And algebraic expressions are phrases, mathematical phrases, made up of both numbers and letters, or numbers and variables. And then next we defined what our algebra tiles, or our algebraic model for working with variables and numbers, is. We said we can represent positive units with a small square tile, uh, the x variable with a rectangular red tile, and the x squared tile with a large square red tile. We also said that we could use blue tiles for our negative values.